Our next comedian comes from the same part of the state that that guy did. His name is Monte Scott. <laughs> Don't worry, he's with us. <laughs> I'm actually not called the police. <laughs> How you guys doing tonight? Good to hear. Good to hear. Yeah. So I, uh, I'm married. I, I said the hardest thing with being married, though, are buying gifts for your spouse, right? There's Christmas, there's holidays and birthdays, and everything like that. My wedding anniversary is recent. I did not know what I was going to get my wife, but I did remember you never get your wife a vacuum cleaner, so I got her a Swiffer. The floor is still not fucking clean, though. Man, man, man. But, uh... But yeah, you know, being married, I've been married 15 years. And being married as long as I have, you know, things do get kind of stale. You know, it's like a box of cereal you leave out, you know, like I know Cinnamon Toast Crunch doesn't taste like that anymore. Or her pussy. <laughs> so I like, you know, I'm gonna try to spice things up because lately I've seen my wife get more excited over a Netflix documentary than an orgasm with me. So I say, baby, we can try something different in the bedroom, maybe a new position. And she got really excited and said, okay, I'll just stay here and you leave. <laughs> Do I still take my pants off or what am I doing? <laughs> I don't know, baby. But I'll try it out. I'll try it out. But yeah, man. Yeah, being married is weird because I, I trust that my wife would die for me, but I don't trust her to drive me somewhere in an emergency. <laughs> Cause she'd stop at Starbucks first. <laughs> like, I know you're bleeding real bad, but I'm getting this venti iced coffee. Just hold on, keep the yelling down. <laughs> hey, can we get a water too? Get some napkins. <laughs> the Starbucks napkins and soak them up though, man. I've been there. Woo. But yeah, so my wife, she's actually in school right now. She moved three and a half hours away for school, okay? And she only comes home on the weekends. But she told me, she said, Monty, when I'm finished with school, I want to start dating you brand new, fresh, all over again. Which is weird, because I don't know how to tell her that when I'm dating a woman, I'm not exclusive for the first three months. <laughs> I'm gonna put all my eggs in one basket. I'm not doing that, you know? Keep my options open. There's, there's plenty of fish out there, you don't know. So, you know, you know. But yeah, with her being gone, you know, raising the kids is uh, is kind of crazy, you know what I mean? Because on Mondays, it's okay when she leaves. You know, I'm like super dad, right? I'm making breakfast. I'm giving them kisses on the head for the leave for school. And by Thursday, if I see one of me a cigarette, I just call it their dinner. <laughs> you can finish that filter. I'm not ordering a pizza now. <laughs> not doing it, man. Saving my money and my time, dude. <laughs> I'm not doing it, not doing it. But... Yeah, you know, so, you know, with, uh, with you know, her being gone, you know, I kind of get to see what it's like to be a single mom, in a way, you know, all the workloads on me, all the financial burdens on me. I don't even have guys hitting on me on the internet. And they're like, hey, baby, you need a man to come help you around the house? Like, will you come on Thursdays? <laughs> I just need some help, dude. We can, we can snuggle after, dude. I'll be the little spoon, whatever. Let's just make it work, man. Let's make it work, you know? Make it work. But yeah, yeah, man. I tell you, you know, so, so we have, you know, with raising kids, you know, you have some issues sometimes. You know, there's some behavioral issues. I have a nine-year-old son, okay? And he, he bit a girl and got suspended. You guys think childhood violence apparently is hilarious. <laughs> and then two weeks later, he slapped that same girl across the face. <laughs> and you know, there's the school wants to me about, you know, what the problem is, what happened. And I don't know how to tell him that to me, it sounds like she owes him money. <laughs> I get your nine, but just pay your debts. Obviously, my son understands that. Just give him the money, he'll leave you alone, man. That's all it is. I don't know for what. I don't know. Well, maybe. I don't know. I think it might be selling drugs. So, you know, recently my son got diagnosed with ADD. You know, which is awkward, because you now we do the same drugs. 
I'm almost a customer to this kid. Like, look, man, you like you like Tonka trucks, right? Because I'm really feeling, buddy. What you got for me? But yeah, you know, so we go to the doctor and everything like that. You know, they're going to prescribe the medications to him and everything. You know, they're like, oh, his son, this is an Adderall. Do you know what that is? Like, oh, yeah, my daddy loves those. <laughs> And he's like, okay, well, just take this pill the way you would, the way your dad would take it. <laughs> he crunches it up and snorts it. <laughs> very embarrassing, buddy. Where'd you get that hundred, though? <laughs> man, man. So yeah, I have four kids. Which is weird, because I had a vasectomy after two. <laughs> and I thought having a vasectomy makes you stop having kids, but really your kids just come out different colors. <laughs> I had no clue I was part Korean. <laughs> and I went to the doctor that did my vasectomy, and I said, what are the chances I can have a kid when all this is over? And he's Korean. He said none. <laughs> And he said, my wife looks really nice today also. <laughs> but yeah, so, you know, I was still confused. I went on Ancestry.com to look the whole thing up. But I'm black, so all I found were receipts. <laughs> and they were from Walmart, too. Like, Walmart was selling slaves? <laughs> Obviously near the garden section. <laughs> You guys can laugh at that. I told them. It's okay. I made it up. That's what I'm here for. But yeah, I say what I what I dislike the most about having kids are when other kids spend the night at my house. I hate that. I hate that. Okay. Some people call them sleepovers or slumber parties. I call them trips to my therapist or my drug dealer. <laughs> Which is actually the same person <laughs> who also is the kid that's having the sleepover. <laughs> but yeah, you know, it's always horrible, man. It's horrible. All these kids are running around. They're uncontrollable. There's always some girl that's sick. <laughs> Do you know where the pizza is? Like, <laughs> it's in the kitchen girl on the virus. Thank you. <laughs> the next morning's the worst, right? You know, there's trash everywhere. There's blankets everywhere. These kids look dead, laying all on the floor. It's like Hurricane Katrina came in. And I'm FEMA. With a gallon of milk and a box of Captain Crunch. Just ready to start recovery. I'm trying to build up the city again, right? One bowl of cereal at a time. Man, man. But, you know, being married, you know, holidays were a few months ago. I had to go visit the in-laws, you know, that was, it's always awkward. And then seeing people that you, you're related to, but only because you're fucking their sister or something. <laughs> it's not really like, I want to be here. She just makes me come good. What do you want me to do? But, yeah, man, you know, my father-in-law, he's, he's an old small town biker, right? He's not from here. But he, he would love this place, you know. And, uh, you know, he's a little racist, too. You know, my wife is white, you know. And I, I thought he didn't like me for years, but last Christmas he got me a rope. <laughs> With a note that said, I'd love to hang out sometime. <laughs> so I will pencil you in, buddy. Okay. You want to be friends? All right, man. All right. <laughs> But yeah, you know, and he's, he's, he talks slow, he walks, so he walks so slow at our wedding when he was giving my wife away, he was still doing it at our one year anniversary. <laughs> I know, I know. But that's my time, folks. You guys have been wonderful. Make sure you give it up to the future governor right over there. I'm hoping to get a job when he gets elected, so please give it up for him.